This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Expatriate in Bangor, Maine. Ajax by Sophocles. Translated by Lewis Campbell, 1830 to 1908. Part 1. The Persons. Athena. Odysseus. Ajax, the son of Telamon. Chorus of Salaminian Mariners. Tecmessa. A Messenger. Teucras, half-brother of Ajax. Menelaus. Agamemnon. Eurysakes, the child of Ajax and Tecmessa, appears, but does not speak. Scene. Before the encampment of Ajax on the shore of the Troad. Afterwards a lonely place beyond Roetium. Time towards the end of the Trojan War. A wounded spirit who can bear. After the death of Achilles, the armor made for him by Hephaestus was to be given to the worthiest of the surviving Greeks. Although Ajax was the most valiant, the judges made the award to Odysseus because he was the wisest. Ajax, in his rage, attempts to kill the generals, but Athena sends madness upon him and he makes a raid upon the flocks and herds of the army, imagining the bulls and rams to be the Argive chiefs. On awakening from his delusion, he finds that he has fallen irrecoverably from honor and from the favor of the Greeks. He also imagines that the anger of Athena is unappeasable. Under this impression, he eludes the loving eyes of his captive bride Tecmessa and of his Salaminian comrades and falls on his sword the soul and body rived not more in parting than greatness going off but it is revealed through the prophet calchas that the wrath of athena will last only for a day and on the return of teucro ajax receives an honoured funeral the tyrannical reclamations of the two sons of atreus being overcome by the firm fidelity of teucro and the magnanimity of odysseus who has been inspired for this purpose by athena ajax athena above odysseus athena oft have i seen thee laertiades intent on some surprisal of thy foes as now i find thee by the seaward camp where ajax holds the last place in your line lingering in quest and scanning the fresh print of his late footsteps to be certified if he keep house or no right well thy sense hath led thee forth like some keen hound of sparta the man is even but now come home his head and slaughterous hands reeking with ardent toil thou then no longer strain thy gaze within yon gateway but declare what eager chase thou followest that a god may give thee light odysseus athena tis thy voice dearest in heaven how well discerned and welcome to my soul from that dim distance doth thine utterance fly in tones as of tyrrhenian trumpet clang truly hast thou divined mine errand here beating this ground for ajax of the shield the lion quarry whom i track to-day for he hath wrought on us to-night a deed past thought if he be doer of this thing we drift in ignorant doubt unsatisfied and i unbidden have bound me to this toil brief time hath flown since suddenly we knew that all our gathered spoil was reaved and slaughtered flocks herds and herdsmen by some human hand all tongues then lay this deed at ajax's door and one a scout who had marked him all alone with new-fleshed weapon bounding o'er the plain gave me to know it when immediately i darted on the trail and here in part i find some trace to guide me but in part i halt amazed and know not where to look thou comest full timely for my venturous course past or to come is governed by thy will athena i knew thy doubts odysseus and came forth zealous to guard thy perilous hunting path odysseus dear queen and am i labouring to an end athena thou schemest not idly this is ajax's deed odysseus what can have roused him to a work so wild athena his grievous anger for Pelides' arms. Odysseus. But wherefore on the flock this violent raid? Athena. He thought to imbrue his hands with your heart's blood. Odysseus. What? Was this planned against the Argives then? Athena. 
planned and performed had i kept careless guard odysseus what daring spirit what hardihood was here athena alone by night in craft he sought your tents odysseus how came he near them won he to his goal athena he stood in darkness at the general's gates odysseus what then restrained his eager hand from murder athena i turned him backward from his baleful joy and overswayed him with blind fantasies to swerve against the flocks and well-watched herd not yet divided from the public booty their plunging in he hewed the horned throng and with him havoc ranged while well, now he thought to kill the atreidae with hot hand now this now that commander as the fancy grew i joining with the tumult of his mind flung the wild victim on the fatal net anon this toil being overpast he draws the living oxen and the panting sheep with cords to his home not as a goad-driven spoil but as in triumph marshalling his foes whom now he tortures in their bonds within come thou shalt see this madness in clear day and tell to the argives all i show thee here only stand firm and shrink not i will turn his eyes askance not to distinguish thee fear not ho thou that bindest to thy will the limbs of those thy captives come thou forth ajax advance before thy palace gate odysseus my queen what dost thou never call him forth athena hush hush be not so timorous but endure odysseus nay nay enough he is there and let him bide athena what fear you dates his valour from to-day odysseus he was and is my valiant enemy athena then is not laughter sweetest or a foe odysseus no more i care not he should come abroad athena you flinch from seeing the madman in full view odysseus when sane i ne'er had flinched before his face athena well but even now he shall not know thee near odysseus how if his eyes be not transformed or lost athena i will confound his sense although he see odysseus well nothing is too hard for deity athena stand still and keep thy place without a word odysseus i must would i were far away from here athena ajax again i summon thee why pay so scanty heed to her who fights for thee enter ajax with a bloody scourge ajax hail offspring of the highest pallas hail well hast thou stood by me triumphal gold shall crown thy temple for this lordly prey athena a fair intention but resolve me this hast died thy falchion deep in argive blood ajax there is my boast that charge i'll ne'er deny athena have atreus sons felt thy victorious might ajax they have no more they'll make a scorn of me athena i take it then they are dead ajax ay now they are dead let them arise and rob me of mine arms athena good next inform us of laertes son how stands his fortune hast thou let him go ajax the accursed fox dost thou inquire of him athena i of odysseus thy late adversary ajax he sits within dear lady to my joy bound for i mean him not just yet to die athena what fine advantage wouldst thou first achieve ajax first tie him to a pillar of my hall athena poor wretch what torment wilt thou wreak on him ajax then stain his back with scourging till he die athena nay tis too much poor caitiff not the scourge ajax pallas in all things else have thou thy will but none shall wrest odysseus from this doom athena well since thou art determined on the deed spare naught of thine intent indulge thy hand ajax waving the bloody scourge i go but thou i charge thee let thine aid be ever more like valiant as to-day exit athena the gods are strong odysseus dost thou see what man than ajax was more provident or who for timeliest action more approved odysseus i know of none 
but though he hates me sore i pity him poor mortal thus chained fast to a wild and cruel fate weighing not so much his fortune as mine own for now i feel all we who live are but an empty show and idle pageant of a shadowy dream athena then warned by what thou seest be thou not rash to vaunt high words toward heaven nor swell thy port too proudly if in puissance of thy hand thou passest others or in minds of wealth since time abases and uplifts again all that is human and the modest heart is loved by heaven who hates the intemperate will exeunt chorus entering telamonian child whose hand guards our wave encircled land salamis that breasts the sea good of thine is joy to me but if one who reigns above smite thee or if murmurs move from fierce danaeans in their hate full of threatening to thy state all my heart for fear doth sigh shrinking like a dove's soft eye semichorus one hardly had the darkness waned when our ears were filled and pained with huge scandal on thy fame telling thine the arm that came to the cattle browsed mead wild with prancing of the steed and that ravaged there and slew with a sword of fiery hue all the spoils that yet remain by the sweat of spearmen tame semichorus two such report against thy life whispered words with falsehood rife wise odysseus bringing near shrewdly gaineth many an ear since invention against thee findeth hearing speedily tallying with the moment's birth and with loudly waxing mirth heaping insult on thy grief each who hears it glories more than the tongue that told before every slander wins belief aimed at souls whose worth is chief shot at me or one so small such a bolt might harmless fall ever toward the great and high creepeth climbing jealousy yet the low without the tall make at need a tottering wall let the strong the feeble save and the mean support the brave chorus ah twere vain to tune such song mid the naught discerning throng who are clamouring now against thee long and loud and strengthless we mighty chieftain thou away to withstand the gathering fray flocking fowl with carping cry seem they lurking from thine eye till the royal eagles poise over awe the paltry noise till before thy presence hushed sudden sink they mute and crushed strophe did bull slaying artemis zeus's cruel daughter ah fearful rumour fountain of my shame prompt thy fond heart to this disastrous slaughter of the full herd stored in our army's name say had her blood-stained temple missed the kindness of some vow promised fruit of victory foiled of some glorious armour through thy blindness or fell some stag ungraced by gift from thee or did stern ares venge his thankless spear through this night foray that hath cost thee dear antistrophe for never if thy heart were not distracted by stings from heaven o child of telamon wouldst thou have bounded leftward to have acted thus wildly spoiling all our host hath won madness might fall some heavenly power forfend it but if odysseus and the tyrant lord suggest a forged tale o oh, rise to end it nor fan the fierce flame of their withering words forth from thy tent and let thine eye confound the brood of sisyphus that would thee wound epode too long hast thou been fixed in grim repose heightening the haughty malice of thy foes that while thou pourest by the sullen sea through breezy glades advanceth fearlessly a mounting blaze with crackling laughter fed from myriad throats whence pain and sorrow bred within my bosom are established enter tecmessa tecmessa helpers of ajax vessels speed erechtheus earth derived seed sorrows are ours who truly care for the house of telamon afar the dread the grand the rugged form of him we know is stricken with a troublous storm our ajax glory droopeth low chorus what burden through the darkness fell where still at eventide twas well phrygian telutus daughter say since ajax foremost in the fray disdaining not the spear one bride still holds thee nearest at his side and thou mayst solve our doubts aright tecmessa 
how shall i speak the dreadful word how shall ye live when ye have heard madness hath seized our lord by night and blasted him with hopeless blight such horrid victims mightst thou see huddled beneath yon canopy torn by red hands and dyed in blood dread offerings to his direful mood strophe chorus what news of our fierce lord thy story showeth sharp to endure impossible to fly news that on tongues of danaeans hourly groweth which rumours myriad voices multiply alas the approaching doom awakes my terror the man will die disgraced in open day whose dark dyed steel hath dared through mad-brained error the mounted herdmen with their herds to slay tecmessa o oh, horror then twas there he found the flock he brought as captives tied and some he slew upon the ground and some sides smiting sundered wide two white-foot rams he backward drew and bound of one he shore and threw the tipmost tongue and head away the other to an upright stay he tied and with a harness thong doubled in hand gave whizzing blows echoing his lashes with a song more dire than mortal fury knows antistrophe chorus ah then tis time our heads in mantles hiding our feet on some stone pathway now to ply or with swift orage o'er the billows gliding with ordered stroke to make our galley fly such threats the atreidae armed with twofold power launch to assail us oh i sadly fear stones from fierce hands on us and him will shower whose heavy plight no comfort may come near tecmessa tis changed his rage like sudden blast without the lightning gleam is past and now that reason's light returns new sorrow in his spirit burns for when we look on self-made woe in which no hand but ours had part thought of such griefs and whence they flow brings aching misery to the heart chorus if he hath ceased to rave he should do well the account of evil lessons when tis past tecmessa if choice were given you would you rather choose hurting your friends yourself to feel delight or share with them in one commingled pain chorus the twofold trouble is more terrible tecmessa then comes our torment now the fit is o'er chorus how meanst thou by that word i fail to see tecmessa he in his rage had rapture of delight and knew not how he grieved us who stood near and saw the madding tempest ruining him but now tis over and he breathes anew the counterblast of sorrow shakes his soul whilst our affliction vexeth as before have we not double for our single woe chorus i feel thy reasoning move me and i fear some heavenly stroke hath fallen how else when the end of stormy sickness brings no cheering ray tecmessa our state is certain dream not but tis so chorus how first began the assault of misery tell us the trouble for we share the pain tecmessa it toucheth you indeed and ye shall hear all from the first twas midnight and the lamp of eve had died when seizing his sharp blade he sought on some vain mission to creep forth i broke in with my word ajax what now why thus uncalled for salliest thou no voice of herald summoned thee no trumpet blew what wouldst thou when the camp is hushed in sleep he with few words well known to women's ears checked me the silent partner is the best i saw how twas and ceased forth then he went alone what horror passed upon the plain this night i know not but he drags within tied in a throng bulls shepherd dogs and spoil of cattle and sheep anon he butchers them felling or piercing hacking or tearing wide ribs from breast limb from limb others in rage he seized and bound and tortured brutes for men last out he rushed before the doors and there whirled forth wild language to some shadowy form flouting the generals and laertes son with torrent laughter and loud triumphing what in his raid he had wreaked to their despite then diving back within the fitful storm slowly assuaging left his spirit clear and when his eye had lightened through the room cumbered with ruin smiting on his brow he roared and tumbling down amid the wreck of woolly carnage he himself had made sate with clenched hand tight twisted in his hair long stayed he so in silence 
then flashed forth those frightful words of threatening vehemence that bade me show him all the night's mishap and whither he was fallen i dear my friends prevailed on through my fear told all i knew and all at once he raised a bitter cry which heretofore i ne'er had heard for still he made us think such doleful utterance betokened the dull craven spirit and still dumb to shrill wailings he would inly moan with half-heard muttering like an angry bull but now by such dark fortune overpowered foodless and dry amid the quivering heap his steel hath quelled all quietly he broods and out of doubt his mind intends some harm such words such groanings burst from him o oh, friends therefore i hasten enter and give aid if aught ye can men thus foregone will oft grow milder through the counsel of a friend chorus talutus child we shudder at thy tale that fatal frenzy wastes our hero's soul ajax within woe's me 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 tecmessa more cause anon hear ye not ajax there how sharp the cry that shrills from him ajax woe woe chorus madly it sounds or springs it of deep grief for proofs of madness harrowing to his eye ajax boy boy tecmessa what means he o eurysakes he cries on thee where art thou o my heart ajax teucer i call where's teucer will he ne'er come from the chase but leave me to my doom chorus not madness now disclose him let us look haply the sight of us may calm his soul tecmessa there then i open to your view the form of ajax and his fortunes as they are ajax is discovered strophe one ajax dear comrades of the deep whose truth and love stand forth alone unbroken in my woe behold what gory sea of storm-lashed agony doth round and round me flow chorus to tecmessa too true thy witness for the fact cries out wild thoughts were here and reason's lamp extinct antistrophe one ajax strong helpers of sea speed whose nimble hand hath plied the briny oar with circling stroke no shepherd there was found to give the avenging wound come lay me with the flock chorus speak no rash word nor curing ill with ill augment the plague of this calamity strophe two mark ye the brave and bold whom none cold turn of old when once he set his face to the fierce fight now beasts that meant no harm have feared this puissant arm o laughter of my foes o mockery of my might tecmessa ajax my lord i entreat thee speak not so ajax thou here away be gone and trouble me not oh oh tecmessa be softened bear a steadier mind ajax o oh, heaven accursed hand that let the ruffians go but falling midst the horned and bleeding band made darkling bloodstreams flow chorus why vex thy heart with what is past and done do what we may this ne'er will alter now antistrophe two child of laertes old thou that dost still behold and still contrive all shapes of monstrous ill winding in foulest ways through the army's sinful maze now even for pleasure thou mayst laugh thy fill chorus laughter and tears are in the gift of god ajax ay might i see him though thus broken ay me even yet chorus nay vaunt not look where thou art fallen ajax source whence my life-blood springs o zeus might i but slay that crafty plague with those twin sceptred kings then breathe my life away tecmessa pray thus and pray that i too may be no more if thou wert gone what were my life to me strophe three ajax darkness my only light o nether gloom to me brighter than morning to the wakeful eye take me to dwell with thee take me what help zeus daughter with fell might torments me sore i may not look on high nor to the tribe of momentary men o oh, whither then should it avail to fly ah oh, whither should i go and stay all here is ruin this mad prey shames me for evermore vengeance is at the door 
yea all the achaean host with armed hand is ready at command to slay me o'er and o'er tecmessa woe's me to hear from one so good and true words he'd scorn to utter in past days antistrophe three ajax gray firths of foaming brine and ye deep groves that crown the sea caves and long cliffs upon the shore too long did ye confine my life about the walls of troia's town but no more now a breathing man no more the wise in heart may apprehend that lore let xanthus know whose waters neighbouring flow and minister to argive men one man he ne'er shall see again one i will vaunt it forth highest in warlike worth of all greek forms that troia's towers have eyed now shorn of all that pride behold i lie thus low chorus i know not how to let thee speak nor how to silence thee such evils hem thee round part two ajax ay me could human thought have prophesied my name would thus give echo to mine ill i now for ayas doubly trebly said sorts all too well to mark my misery whose father from this land of troy as noblest of all the host carrying the fairest prize came girt about with glory to his home but i his son not less of might than he nor poorer in the achievements of my hand to this same region following in my prime am scouted by the achaeans and destroyed yet know i one thing well had peleus child living adjudged his armour as a meed of well-tried bravery no hand save mine had grasped it but the atriade with mean craft conveyed his heirloom to a wit-proud knave whilst ajax peerless prowess was despised and had not this mine eye and mind distraught glanced from my purpose ne'er again had they perverted judgment but the invincible stern daughter of the highest with baneful eye even as mine arm descended baffled me and hurled upon my soul a frenzied plague to stain my hand with these dumb victims blood and those mine enemies exult in safety not with my will but where a god misguides strong arms are thwarted and the weakling lives now what remains heaven hates me tis too clear the grecian host abhor me troy with all this country round our camp is my sworn foe shall i across the aegean sailing home leave these atriade and their fleet forlorn how shall i dare to front my father's eye how will he once endure to look on me denuded of the prize of high renown whose coronal stood sparkling on his brow no twere too dreadful then shall i advance before the trojan battlements and there in single conflict doing valiantly last die upon their spears nay for by this i might perchance make atreus offspring glad that may not be imagined i must find some act to let my grey-haired father feel no heartless recreant once called him sire shame on the white who when beset with ill cares to live on in misery unrelieved can our outlasting hour make less or more of death whereby then can it furnish joy that mortal weighs for nothing worth with me whom hope can comfort with her fruitless fire honour in life or honour in the grave befits the noble heart you hear my will chorus from thine own spirit ajax all may tell that utterance came and none have prompted thee yet stay thy hurrying thought and by thy friends be ruled to loose this burden from thy mind tecmessa o oh, my great master heaviest of all woe is theirs whose life is crushed beyond recall i born of one the mightiest of the free and wealthiest in the phrygian land am now a captive so heaven willed and thy strong arm determined therefore since the hour that made my being one with thine i breathe for thee and i beseech thee by the sacred fire of home and by the sweetness of the night when from my captor thou becamest my friend leave me not guardless to the unworthy touch and cruel taunting of thine enemies for shouldst thou die and leave us then shall i borne off by argive violence with thy boy eat from that day the bread of slavery and some one of our lords shall smite me there with galling speech behold the concubine of ajax first of all the greeks for might how envied once worn with what service now so will they speak 
and while my quailing heart shall sink beneath its burden clouds of shame will dim thy glory and degrade thy race oh think but of thy father left to pine in doleful age and let thy mother's grief who long bowed down with many a careful year praise oftentimes thou mayst return alive or awe thee yea and pity thine own son unsheltered in his boyhood reft of thee with bitter foes to tend his orphanhood think o oh my lord what sorrow in thy death thou send'st on him and me for i have naught to lean to but thy life my fatherland thy spear hath ruined fate not thou hath sent my sire and mother to the home of death what wealth have i to comfort me for thee what land of refuge thou art all my stay o oh, of me too take thought shall men have joy and not remember or shall kindness fade say can the mind be noble where the stream of gratitude is withered from the spring chorus ajax i would thy heart were touched like mine with pity then her words would win thy praise ajax my praise she shall not miss if she perform my bidding with firm heart and fail not here tecmessa dear ajax i will fail in naught thou bidst me ajax bring me my boy that i may see his face tecmessa oh in my terror i conveyed him hence ajax clear of this mischief meanst thou or for what tecmessa lest he might run to thee poor child and die ajax that issue had been worthy of my fate tecmessa but i kept watch to fence his life from harm ajax was wisely done i praise thy foresight there tecmessa well since tis so how can i help thee now ajax give me to speak to him and see him near tecmessa he stands close by with servants watching him ajax then why doth he not come but still delay tecmessa boy father calls for thee come lead him hither whichever of you holds him by the hand ajax moves he or do thine accents idly fall tecmessa see where thy people bring him to thine eye ajax lift him to me lift him he will not fear at sight of this fresh havoc of the sword if by a true descent he is my son like some young colt he must be trained and taught to run fierce courses with his warrior sire be luckier than thy father boy but else be like him and thy life will not be low one thing even now i envy thee that none of all this misery pierces to thy mind for life is sweetest in the void of sense ere thou know joy or sorrow but when this hath found thee make thy father's enemies feel the great parent in the valiant child meantime grow on in tender youthfulness nursed by light breezes gladdening this thy mother no greek shall trample thee with brutal harm that i know well though i shall not be near so stout a warder to protect thy life i leave in teucer he'll not fail though now he follow far the chase upon his foes my trusty warriors people of the sea to you i give this charge no less and tell to him my message that he take this boy home to my fatherland and make him known to telamon and arabia too my mother let him tend them in their age and for mine armour let not that be made the award of grecian umpires or of him who ruined me but thou named of the shield eurysakes hold mine the unpierceable seven-hided buckler and by the well-stitched thong grasp firm and wield it mightily the rest shall lie where i am buried take him now quickly and close the door no tears what weep before the tent how women crave for pity make fast i say no wise physician dreams with droning charms to salve a desperate sore chorus there sounds a vehement ardour in thy words that likes me not i fear thy sharpened tongue tecmessa ajax my lord what act is in thy mind ajax inquire not question not be wise thou art best tecmessa how my heart sinks o oh, by thy child by heaven i pray thee on my knees forsake us not ajax thou troublest me what knowst thou not that heaven hath ceased to be my debtor from to-day tecmessa hush speak not so ajax speak thou to those that hear tecmessa will you not hear me ajax canst thou not be still 
Tecmessa. my fears my fears ajax to the attendants come shut me in i say Tecmessa. oh yet be softened ajax tis a foolish hope if thou deem'st now to mould me to thy will ajax is withdrawn exit Tecmessa. chorus strophe one island of glory whom the glowing eyes of all the wondering world immortalize thou salamis art planted evermore happy amid the wandering billows roar while i ah woe the while this weary time by the green wold where flocks from ida stray lie worn with countless hours of wasted prime hoping ah cheerless hope to win my way where hades horrid gloom shall hide me from the day antistrophe one ajax is with me yea but crouching low where heaven-sent madness haunts his overthrow beyond my cure or tendance woeful plight whom thou erewhile to head the impetuous fight sent forth thy conquering champion now he feeds his spirit on lone paths and on us brings deep sorrow and all his former peerless deeds of prowess fall like unremembered things from atreus loveless brood this caitiff brace of kings strophe two ah when his mother full of days and bowed with hoary eld shall hear his ruined mind how will she mourn aloud not like the warbler of the dale the bird of piteous wail but in shrill strains far borne upon the wind while on the withered breast and thin white hair falls the resounding blow the rending of despair antistrophe two best hid in death were he whom madness drives remediless if through his father's race born to the noblest place among the war-worn greeks he lives by his own light no more self alien from the self he knew before o hapless sire what woe thine ear shall wound one that of all thy line no life save this hath found enter ajax with a bright sword and tecmessa severally ajax what change will never terminable time not heave to light what hide not from the day what chance shall win men's marvel mightiest oaths fall frustrate and the steely tempered will i and even mine that stood so diamond keen like iron lately dipped droops now disedged and weakened by this woman whom to leave a widow with her orphan to my foes dulls me with pity i will go to the baths and meadows near the cliff and purging there my dark pollution i will screen my soul from reach of palace grievous wrath i will find some place untrodden and digging of the soil where none shall see will bury this my sword weapon of hate for death and night to hold evermore underground for since my hand had this from hector mine arch enemy no kindness have i known from argive men so true that saying of the bygone world a foe's gift is no gift and brings no good well we will learn of time henceforth i'll bow to heavenly ordinance and give homage due to atreus sons who rules must be obeyed since naught so fierce and terrible but yields place to authority wild winter's snows make way for bounteous summer's flowery tread and night's sad orb retires for lightsome day with his white steeds to illumine the glad sky the furious storm-blast leaves the groaning sea gently to rest yea the all-subduer sleep frees whom he binds nor holds in chain for a and shall not men be taught the temperate will yea for i know now surely that my foe must be so hated as being like enough to prove a friend hereafter and my friend with friendship i will so far serve as one not always to be with me men have found but treacherous harbour in companionship our ending then is peaceful thou my girl go in and pray the gods my heart's desire be all fulfilled my comrades join her here honouring my wishes and if teucer come bid him toward us be mindful kind toward you i must go whither i must go do ye but keep my word and ye may learn though now be my dark hour that all with me is well exit towards the country tecmessa retires chorus strophe a shudder of love thrills through me joy i soar o pan wild pan they dance come from kylene hoar come from the snowdrift the rock ridge the glen 
leaving the mountain bare fleet through the salt sea air mover of dances to gods and to men whirl me in knossian way thrid me the nysian maze come while the joy of the dance is my care thou too apollo come bright from thy delian home bringer of day fly o'er the southward main here in our hearts to reign love to repose there and kindly to stay antistrophe horror is past our eyes have rest from pain o lord of heaven they dance now blithesome day again purely may smile on our swift sailing fleet since all his woe forgot ajax now faileth not aught that of prayer and heaven worship is meet time bringeth mighty aid naught but in time doth fade nothing shall move me as strange to my thought ajax our lord hath now cleared his wrath burdened brow long our despair cease from his angry feud and with mild heart renewed peace and good will to the high sceptred pair enter messenger messenger friends my first news is two cross presence here fresh from the mysian heights who as he came right toward the general's quarter was assailed with outcry from the argives in a throng for when they knew his motion from afar they swarmed around him and with shouts of blame from each side one and all assaulted him as brother to the man who had gone mad and plotted against the host threatening aloud spite of his strength with stones to pound him dead so far strife ran that swords unscabbarded cross blades till as it mounted to the height age interposed with counsel and it fell but where is ajax to receive my word tidings are best told to the rightful ear chorus not in the hut but just gone forth preparing new plans to suit his newly altered mind messenger alas too tardy then was he who sped me forth this way or i too slow a messenger chorus wherein what point is lacking for this need messenger teucros was resolute the man should bide close held within doors till himself should come chorus why sure his going took the happiest turn and wisest to propitiate heaven's high wrath messenger the height of folly lives in such discourse if calchas have the wisdom of a seer chorus what knows he of our state what saith he tell messenger i can tell only what i heard and saw whilst all the chieftains in the atriadi twain were seated in a ring calchas alone rose up and left them and in two cross palm laid his right hand full friendly then out spake with strict injunction by all means in the world to keep beneath yon covert this one day your hero and not suffer him to rove if he would see him any more alive for through this present light and ne'er again holy athena so he said will drive him before her anger such calamitous woe strikes down the unprofitable growth that mounts beyond his measure and provokes the sky thus ever said the prophet must he fall who in man's mould hath thoughts beyond a man and ajax ere he left his father's door made foolish answer to his prudent sire my son said telamon choose victory always but victory with an aid from heaven how loftily how madly he replied father with heavenly help men nothing worth may win success but i am confident without the gods to pluck this glory down so huge the boast he vaunted and again when holy pallas urged him with her voice to hurl his deadly spear against the foe he turned on her with speech of awful sound goddess by other greeks take thou thy stand where i keep rank the battle ne'er shall break such words of pride beyond the mortal scope have won him pallas wrath unlovely mead but yet perchance so be it he live to-day we with heaven's succour may restore his peace thus far the prophet when immediately teucros dispatched me ere the assembly rose bearing to thee this missive to be kept with all thy care but if my speed be lost and calchas word have power the man is dead chorus o trouble-tossed tecmessa born to woe come forth and see what messenger is here this news bites near the bone a death to joy enter tecmessa tecmessa wherefore again when sorrow's cruel storm was just abating break ye my repose chorus pointing to the messenger hear what he saith and how he comes to bring news of our ajax that hath torn my heart tecmessa o oh me what is it man am i undone messenger thy case i know not 
but of ajax this that if he roam abroad tis dangerous Tecmessa, he is indeed abroad oh tell me quickly messenger tis teucros strong command to keep him close beneath this roof nor let him range alone Tecmessa, but where is teucros and what means his word messenger even now at hand and eager to make known that ajax if he thus go forth must fall Tecmessa, alas my misery whence learned he this messenger from thestor's prophet offspring who to-day holds forth to ajax choice of life or death Tecmessa, woe's me o friends this desolating blow is falling o stand forward to prevent and some bring teucros with more haste while some explore the western bays and others search eastward to find your hero's fatal path for well i see i am cheated and cast forth from the old favour child what shall i do looking at eurysakes we must not stay i too will fare along so far as i have power come let us go bestir ye tis no moment to sit still if we would save him who now speeds to die chorus i am ready come fidelity of foot and swift performance shall approve me true exeunt omnes the scene changes to a lonely wooded spot ajax discovered alone the sacrificer stands prepared and when more keen let me take time for thinking too this gift of hector whom of foreign men i hated most with heart and eyes is set in hostile trojan soil with grinding hone new edged and here embedded by my care thus firm to give me swift and friendly death fine instrument so much for thee then first thou for tis meet great father give thine aid for no great gift i sue thee send one hither to carry to cross the ill news that he may first uplift me freshly fallen in death upon my bleeding sword ere i be spied by some of those who hate me and be flung to dogs and vultures for an outcast prey so far i entreat thee lord of heaven and thou hermes conductor of the shadowy dead speed me to rest and when with this sharp steel i have cleft a sudden passage to my heart at one swift bound waft me to painless slumber but most be ye my helpers awful powers who know no blandishments but still perceive all wicked deeds in the world strong swift and sure avenging furies understand my wrong see how my life is ruined and by whom come raven on achaean flesh spare none rage through the camp last thou that drivest thy course up yon steep heaven thou son when thou behold'st my fatherland tightening thy golden rein report my fall and this my fatal end to my old sire and the poor soul who tends him ah hapless one when she shall hear this word how she will make the city ring with woe twere from the business idly to condole to work then and dispatch o death o death now come and welcome yet with thee hereafter i shall find close communion where i go but unto thee fresh beam of shining day and thee thou travelling sun-god i may speak now and no more for ever o fair light o sacred fields of salamis my home thou firm-set natal hearth athens renowned and ye her people whom i love o rivers brooks fountains here yea even the trojan plain i now invoke kind fosterers farewell this one last word from ajax peals to you henceforth my speech will be with souls unseen falls on his sword chorus re-entering severally chorus a toil upon toil brings toil and what save trouble have i which path have i not tried and never a place arrest me with its tale hark lo again a sound chorus b tis we the comrades of your good ship's crew chorus a well sirs chorus b we have trodden all the westward curve of the bay chorus a well have ye found chorus b troubles e now but not to inform our sight chorus a nor yet along the road that fronts the dawn is any sign of ajax to be seen strophe chorus who then will tell me who what hard sea liver what toiling fisher in his sleepless quest what heaven-born nymph 
what oozy thracian river hath seen our wanderer of the tameless breast where tell me where tis hard that i far toiling voyager crossed by some evil wind cannot the haven find nor catch his form that flies me where ah where tecmessa behind oh woe is me woe woe chorus a who cries there from the covert of the grove tecmessa o oh, boundless misery chorus b steeped in this audible sorrow i behold tecmessa poor fate burdened bride of war tecmessa friends i am spoiled lost ruined overthrown chorus a what ails thee now tecmessa see where our ajax lies but newly slain fallen on his sword concealed within the ground chorus woe for my hopes of home ajax my lord thou hast slain thy ship companion on the salt sea foam alas for us and thee child of calamity tecmessa so lies our fortune well mayst thou complain chorus a whose hand employed he for the deed of blood tecmessa his own tis manifest this planted steel fixed by his hand gives verdict from his breast chorus woe for my fault my loss thou hast fallen in blood alone and not a friend to cross or guard thee i deaf senseless as a stone left all undone oh where then lies the stern ajax of saddest name whose purpose none might turn tecmessa no eye shall see him i will veil him round with this all-covering mantle since no heart that loved him could endure to view him there with ghastly expiration spouting forth from mouth and nostrils and the deadly wound the gore of his self-slaughter ah oh, my lord what shall i do what friend will carry thee oh where is teucros timely were his hand might he come now to smooth his brother's course o oh, thou most noble here ignobly laid even enemies methinks must mourn thy fate antistrophe chorus ah twas too clear thy firm-knit thoughts would fashion early or late an end of boundless woe such heaving groans such bursts of heart-bruised passion midnight and morn berayed the fire below the atreidae might beware a plenteous fount of pain was opened there what time the strife was set wherein the noblest met grappling the golden prize that kindled thy despair tecmessa woe woe is me chorus deep sorrow rings thy soul i know it well tecmessa oh woe 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 chorus thou mayst prolong thy moan and be believed thou that hast lately lost so true a friend tecmessa thou mayst imagine tis for me to know chorus ay ay tis true tecmessa alas my child what slavish tasks and hard we are drifting to what eyes control our will chorus ay me through thy complaint i hear the wordless blow of two high throned who rule without restraint of pity heaven forfend what evil they intend tecmessa the work of heaven hath brought our life thus low chorus tis a sore burden to be laid on men tecmessa yet such the mischief zeus resistless made pallas hath planned to make odysseus glad chorus o'er that dark-featured soul what waves of pride shall roll what floods of laughter flow rudely to greet this madness prompted woe alas from him who all things dares endure and from that lordly pair who here and seat them sure tecmessa i let them laugh and revel o'er his fall perchance albeit in life they missed him not dead they will cry for him in straits of war for dullards know not goodness in their hand nor prize the jewel till tis cast away to me more bitter than to them twas sweet his death to him was gladsome for he found the lot he longed for his self-chosen doom what cause have they to laugh heaven not their crew hath glory by his death then let odysseus insult with empty pride to him and his ajax is nothing but to me to me he leaves distress and sorrow in his room two cross within alas undone leader of chorus hush that was two cross cry methought i heard his voice salute this object of dire woe 
Enter Teucer. Part three. Enter Teucer. Teucer. Ajax, dear brother, comfort of mine eye, hast thou been done even as the rumour holds? Chorus. Be sure of that, Teucer. He lives no more. Teucer. Oh, then how heavy is the lot I bear? Chorus. Yes, thou hast cause. Teucer. O oh, rash assault of woe! Chorus. To mourn full loud. Teucer. Ay me! And where, oh where, on Trojan earth, tell me, is this man's child? Chorus. Beside the huts, untended. Teucer. To Tecmessa. O oh, with haste, go bring him hither, lest some enemy's hand snatch him, as from the lion's widowed mate the lion whelp is taken. Spare not speed. All soon combine in mockery o'er the dead. Exit Tecmessa. Chorus. Even such commands he left thee ere he died, as thou fulfillest by this timely care. Teucer. O oh, sore a spectacle mine eyes e'er saw. Woe for my journey of to-day. That most hath pained my heart, here speeding since I knew thy fate, dear Ajax, and pursued and tracked thy footsteps, for there darted through the host, as from some god, a swift report of thee that thou wert lost in death. I, hapless, heard, and mourned even then for that whose presence kills me. Ay, me, but come, unveil, let me behold my misery. The corpse of Ajax is uncovered. O oh, sight unbearable! cruelly brave dying what store of griefs thou sowst for me where amongst whom of mortals can i go that stood not near thee in thy troublous hour will telamon my sire and thine receive me with radiant countenance and favouring brow returning without thee most like being one who smiles no more yield fortune what she may will he hide aught or soften any word rating the bastard of his spear-won thrall whose cowardice and dastardy betrayed thy life dear ajax or my murderous guile to rob thee of thy lordship and thy home such greeting waits me from the man of wrath whose testy age even without cause would storm last i shall leave my land a castaway thrust forth no freeman but a slave proclaimed so should i fare at home and here in troy my foes are many and my comforts few all these things are my portion through thy death woe's me my heart how shall i bear to draw thee o thou ill-starred from this discoloured blade thy self-shown slayer didst thou then perceive dead hector was at length to be thine end i pray you all consider these two men hector whose gift from ajax was a girdle tight braced therewith to the car's rim was dragged and scarified till he breathed forth his life and ajax with this present from his foe finds through such means his deathfall and his doom say then what cruel workman forged the gifts but fury this sharp sword hell that bright band in this and all that touches men i find gods are the artificers my thought is said and if there be who cares not for my thought let him hold fast his faith and leave me mine chorus spare longer speech and think how to secure thy brother's burial and what plea will serve since one comes here hath no good will to us and like a villain haply comes in scorn teucer what man of all the host hath caught thine eye chorus the cause for whom we sail the spartan king teucer yes i discern him now he moves more near enter menelaus menelaus fellow give o'er cease tending yon dead man obey my voice and leave him where he lies teucer thy potent cause for spending so much breath menelaus my will and his whose word is sovereign here teucer may we not know the reasons of your will menelaus because he whom we trusted to have brought to lend us loyal help with heart and hand proved in the trial a worse than phrygian foe who lay in wait for all the host by night and sallied forth in arms to shed our blood that had not one in heaven crushed this attempt our lot had been to lie as he doth here dead and undone for ever while full life were his but heaven hath turned this turbulence to fall instead upon the harmless flock 
wherefore no strength of man shall once avail to encase his body with a seemly tomb but outcast on the wide and watery sand he'll feed the birds that batten on the shore nor let thy towering spirit therefore rise in threatening wrath wilt thou or not our hand shall rule him dead howe'er he braved us living and that by force for never would he yield even while he lived to words from me and yet it shows base metal when the subject white deigns not to hearken to the chief in power since without settled awe neither in states can laws have rightful sway nor can a host be governed with due wisdom if no fear or wholesome shame be there to shield its safety and though a man be great in thews and bulk let him be warned a little wound may end him whoever knows respect and honour both stands free from risk of dark vicissitude but where so pride and license have their fling be sure that state will one day lose her course and founder in the abysm let fear have place still where it ought say i nor let men think to do their pleasure and not bide the pain that wheel comes surely round once ajax raged with turbulent fierceness now i mount in pride and loudly bid thee bury him not lest burying thy brother thou be burrowing thine own grave chorus menelaus make not thy philosophy a platform whence to insult the valiant dead teucro i never more will marvel sirs when one of humblest parentage is prone to sin since those reputed men of noble strain stoop to such phrase of prating frowardness come tell it o'er again said you ye brought my brother bound to aid you with his power sailed he not forth of his own sovereign will where is thy voucher of command o'er him where of thy right o'er those that followed him sparta not we shall buckle to thy sway twas written nowhere in the bond of rule that thou shouldst check him rather than he thee thou sailest under orders not in charge of all much less of ajax then pursue thy limited direction and chastise in haughty phrase the men who fear thy nod but i will bury ajax whether thou or the other general give consent or no tis not for me to tremble at thy word not to reclaim thy wife like those poor souls thou fill'st with labour issue this man forth but caring for his oath and not for thee or any other nobody then come with heralds all a row and bring the man called king of men with thee for thy sole noise i budge not wert thou twenty times thy name chorus the sufferer should not bear a bitter tongue hard words how just so e'er will leave their sting menelaus our bowman carries no small pride i see teucro no mere mechanic's menial craft is mine menelaus how wouldst thou vaunt it hadst thou but a shield teucro unarmed i fear not thee in panoply menelaus redoubted is the wrath lives on thy tongue teucro whose cause is just hath license to be proud menelaus just that my murderer have a peaceful end teucro thy murderer strange to have been slain and live menelaus yea through heaven's mercy by his will i am dead teucro if heaven have saved thee give the gods their due menelaus am i the man to spurn at heaven's command teucro thou dost to come and frustrate burial menelaus honour forbids to yield my foe a tomb teucro and ajax was thy foeman where and when menelaus hate lived between us that thou know'st full well teucro for thy proved knavery coining votes in the court menelaus the judges voted he ne'er lost through me teucro guilt hiding guile wears often fairest front menelaus i know whom pain shall harass for that word teucro not without giving equal pain tis clear menelaus no more but this no burial for this man teucro yea this much more he shall have instant burial menelaus i have seen ere now a man of doughty tongue urge sailors in foul weather to unmoor who caught in the sea misery by and by lay voiceless muffled in his cloak and suffered who would of the sailors over trample him 
even so methinks thy truculent mouth ere long shall quench its outcry when this little cloud breaks forth on thee with a full tempest might to cross i too have seen a man whose windy pride poured forth loud insults or a neighbour's fall till one whose cause and temper showed like mine spake to him in my hearing this plain word man do the dead no wrong but if thou dost be sure thou shalt have sorrow thus he warned the infatuate one i one whom i behold for all may read my riddle thou art he menelaus i will be gone twere shame to me if known to chide when i have power to crush by force teucro off with you then twere triple shame in me to list the vain talk of a blustering fool exit menelaus leader of chorus high the quarrel rears his head hasty to cross trebly haste grave room for the valiant dead furnish with what speed thou mayst hollow deep within the ground where beneath his mouldering mound ajax eye shall be renowned re-enter tecmessa with eurysaces to cross lo where the hero's housemate and his child hitting the moment's need appear at hand to tend the burial of the ill-fated dead come child take thou thy station close beside kneel and embrace the author of thy life in solemn suppliant fashion holding forth this lock of thine own hair and hers and mine with threefold consecration that if one of the army force thee from thy father's course my curse may banish him from holy ground far from his home unburied and cut off from all his race even as i cut this curl there hold him child and guard him let no hand stir thee but lean to the calm breast and cling to chorus and ye be not like women in this scene nor let your manhoods falter stand true men to this defence till i return prepared though all cry no to give him burial chorus strophe one when shall the tale of wandering years be done when shall arise our exile's latest son o oh, where shall end the incessant woe of troublous spear encounter with the foe through this vast trojan plain of grecian arms the lamentable stain antistrophe one would he had gone to inhabit the wide sky or that deep home of death where millions lie who taught our grecian world the way to use vile swords and knit the dense array his toil gave birth to toil in endless line he made mankind his spoil strophe two his tyrant will hath forced me to forego the garland and the goblet's bounteous flow yea and the flute's dear noise and night's more tranquil joys i me nor only these the fruits of golden ease but love but love o crowning sorrow hath ceased for me i may not borrow sweet thoughts from him to smooth my dreary bed where dank night dews fall ever on my head lest once i might forget the sadness of the morrow antistrophe two even here in troy ajax was erst my rock from darkling fears in mid the battle shock to screen me with huge might now he is sunk in night and horror where again shall gladness heal my pain o oh, were i where the waters hoary round sunium's pine-clad promontory plash underneath the flowery upland height then holiest athens soon would come in sight and to athena's self i might declare my story enter teucro teucro my steps were hastened brethren when i saw great agamemnon hitherward afoot he means to talk perversely i can tell enter agamemnon agamemnon and so i hear thou stretch thy mouth agape with big bold words against us undismayed thou the she-captive's offspring high would scale thy voice and pert would be thy strutting gait were but thy mother noble since being naught so stiff thou stand'st for him who is nothing now and swear'st we came not as commanders here of all the achaean navy nor of thee but ajax sailed thou say'st with absolute right must we endure detraction from a slave what was the man thou noisest here so proudly have i not set my foot as firm and far or stood his valour unaccompanied in all this host high cause have we to rue that prize encounter for pelides arms 
seeing teucros's sentence stamps our knavery for all to know it and naught will serve but ye being vanquished kick at the award that passed by voice of the majority in the court and either pelt us with rude calumnies or stab at us ye laggards with base guile howbeit these ways will never help to build the wholesome order of established law if men shall hustle victors from their right and mix the hindmost rabble with the van that craves repression not by bulky size or shoulders breadth the perfect man is known but wisdom gives chief power in all the world the ox hath a huge broadside yet is held right in the furrow by a slender goad which remedy i perceive will come thy way ere long unless thy gains in wisdom grow who hast uttered forth such daring insolence for the pale shadow of a vanished man learn modestly to know thy place and birth and bring with thee some free-born advocate to please thy cause before us in thy room i understand not in the barbarous tongue and all thy talk is nonsense to mine ear chorus would ye might both have sense to curb your ire no better hope for either can i frame two cross fie how doth gratitude when men are dead prove renegade and swiftly pass away this agamemnon hath no slightest word of kind remembrance any more for thee ajax who oftentimes for his behoof has jeoparded thy life in labour of war now all is clean forgotten and out of mind thou who hast multiplied words void of sense hast thou no faintest memory of the time when who but ajax came and rescued you already locked within the toils all lost the rout began when close abaft the ships the torches flared and o'er the bootless trench hector was bounding high to board our fleet who stayed that onset was not ajax he whom thou deniest to have once set foot by thine find ye no merit in this deed and then when he met hector singly man to man not by your bidding but the lottery's choice his lot that skulked not low adown in the heap a moist earth clod but sure to spring in air and first to clear the plumy helmet's brim yes ajax was the man and i too there kept rank the barbarous mother's servile son i pity thee the blindness of that word who was thy father's father a barbarian pelops the phrygian if you trace him far and what was atreus thine own father one who served his brother with the abominable dire feast of his own flesh and thou thyself camest from a cretan mother whom her sire caught with a man who had no right in her and gave dumb fishes the polluted prey such was thy race what is the race thou spurnest my father telamon of all the host being foremost proved in valour took as prize my mother for his mate a princess she born of laomedon alcmena's son gave her to grace him a triumphant mead thus royally descended and thus brave shall i renounce the brother of my blood or suffer thee to thrust him in his woes far from all burial shameless that thou art be sure that if ye cast him forth ye'll cast three bodies more beside him in one spot for nobler should i find it here to die in open quarrel for my kinsman's weal than for thy wife or menelaus was it consider then not my case but your own for if you harm me you will wish some day to have been a coward rather than dare me chorus hail lord odysseus thou art come in time not to begin but help to end a fray enter odysseus odysseus what quarrel sirs i well perceived from far the king's high voicing o'er the valiant dead agamemnon yea lord odysseus for our ears are full even now with this man's heart offending talk odysseus what words have passed i cannot blame the man who meets foul speech with bitterness of tongue agamemnon my speech was bitter for his deeds were foul odysseus what deed of his could harm thy sovereign head agamemnon he boldly says this course shall not be left unburied but he'll bury it in our spite odysseus may i then speak true counsel to my friend and pull with thee in policy as of yore agamemnon speak i were else a madman for no friend of all the argeians do i count thy peer odysseus then hear me in heaven's name be not so hard thus without ruth tombless to cast him forth nor be so vanquished by a vehement will that to thy hate even justice self must bow 
i too had him for my worst enemy since i gained mastery over peleides arms but though he used me so i ne'er will grudge for his proud scorn to yield him thus much honour that save achilles self i have not seen so noble an argive on the fields of troy then twere not just in thee to slight him now nor would thy treatment wound him but confound the laws of heaven no hatred should have scope to offend the noble spirits of the dead agamemnon wilt thou thus fight against me on his side odysseus yea though i hated him while hate was comely agamemnon why thou shouldst trample him the more being dead odysseus rejoice not king in feats that soil thy fame agamemnon tis hard for power to observe each pious rule odysseus not hard to grace the good words of a friend agamemnon the noble spirit should hearken to command odysseus no more tis conquest to be ruled by love agamemnon remember what he was thou gracest so odysseus a noisome enemy but his life was great agamemnon and wilt thou honour such a pestilent course odysseus hatred gives way to magnanimity agamemnon with addle-pated fools odysseus full many are found friends for an hour yet bitter in the end agamemnon and wouldst thou have us gentle to such friends odysseus i would not praise ungentleness in aught agamemnon we shall be known for weaklings through thy counsel odysseus not so but righteous in all grecian eyes agamemnon thou bidst me then let bury this dead man odysseus i urge thee to the course myself shall follow agamemnon i every man for his own line that holds odysseus why not for my own line what else were natural agamemnon twill be thy doing then ne'er owned by me odysseus own it or not the kindness is the same agamemnon well for thy sake i'd grant a greater boon then why not this however rest assured that in the grave or out of it ajax still shall have my hatred do thou what thou wilt exit chorus whoso would sneer at thy philosophy while such thy ways odysseus were a fool odysseus and now let teucros know that from this hour i am more his friend than i was once his foe and fain would help him in this burial rite and service to his brother nor would fail in aught that mortals owe their noblest dead teucros odysseus best of men thine every word hath my heart's praise and my worst thought of thee is foiled by thy staunch kindness to the man who was thy rancorous foe thou wast not keen to insult in presence of his course like these the insensate general and his brother king who came with proud intent to cast him forth foully debarred from lawful obsequy wherefore may he who rules in yon wide heaven and the unforgetting fury spirit and she justice who crowns the right so ruin them with cruelest destruction even as they thought ruthlessly to rob him of his tomb for thee revered laertes lineal seed i fear to admit thy hand unto this right lest we offend the spirit that is gone but for the rest i hail thy proffered aid and bring whom else thou wilt i'll ne'er resent it this work shall be my single care but thou be sure i love thee for thy generous heart odysseus i had gladly done it but since thou declinest i bow to thy decision and depart exit teucro speed we for the hour grows late some to scoop his earthly cell others by the cauldron wait plenished from the purest well hoist it comrades here at hand high upon the three-foot stand let the cleansing waters flow brightly flame the fire below others in a stalwart throng from his chamber bear along all the arms he wont to wield but alone the mantling shield thou with me thy strength employ lifting this thy father boy hold his frame with tender heed still the gashed veins darkly bleed who professors here to love him ply your busy cares above him come and labour for the man nobler none since time began ajax while his life-blood ran leader of chorus oft we know not till we see weak is human prophecy judge not till the hour have taught thee 
what the destinies have brought thee recording by expatriate in bangor maine end of ajax by sophocles translated by lewis campbell eighteen thirty to nineteen o eight